Hey everyone, welcome back to another Moose Toys toy unboxing and today we actually have a brand new 10 packs for series number 4 from the grocery gang to open up with all of you. We are so excited to bring these to our YouTube channel because we know a lot of you have been waiting for series number 4 and here it is. Today we are going to open up two 10 packs and something really amazing about these 10 packs is that they come with a catapult. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. Now on the top it does say 10 grocery inside it says the grocery gang your shopping's gone rotten and then right below that it does say bug strike right here it does say for ages five and up and then right here it says special edition paratrooper groceries inside right here we have a window of all the visible ones in this 10 pack and then there are two surprise groceries in this army crate also just because we like to add some more fun to your grocery gang collecting it says launch them off the credit crossbow that's right so this 10 pack comes with a crossbow and the only way to get the crossbow is is to get the 10 pack. There are over 150 to collect and let's turn it around to the back. Right here it does say the grocery gang. It's time to fight the bug strike. The grocery gang are ready to battle and defend against the bug army invasion. Collect your trashy troops and launch them into action with the crusty catapult or cruddy crossbow. This ain't no picnic. It's an all out war for who rules cheap town. And then right here it says look for the limited edition scrappy camo groceries. Ooh, the limited editions. We have different categories of the ones that you can collect, which we will go over in just a little bit with our collector's guide. So like we said earlier, we have two different ones to open up. So let's go ahead and get these groceries out of the packages and take a look at them in more detail and then also discover what we have in our mystery army crates. <music> Alright our grocery gang fans, we have our groceries out of the packaging, we have our two army crates right here, and then we also have our crossbows that came with the 10 pack right here, and then also in each 10 pack you do get a collector's guide. And at the top it does say the grocery gang, bug strike, there are three special features, we have wall crawler groceries, paratrooper groceries, and metallic camo groceries. Now let's look at the different categories for series number 4, you have foot soldiers, hair fours, Para crawlers, which are the paratrooper groceries, dessert warfare, gravy officers, repellents, stationary officers, bug brigade, army preserves, SWAT team, and these are the wall crawler groceries, meaning they are sticky. And then we also have medics. And then last but not least, we have our scrappy camo, which are the metallic camo groceries, which are our limited editions. Also on the bottom of the rotten receipt collector's guide, we have directions how to assemble the band on the crossbow and then also how to assemble the parachute. On the front of the collector's guide we have two different games that you can play. One called Bug Bull Over and one called Fungus Frontline. So make sure you partner up with your friends to play these games. Alright so let's go ahead and open up our army crates to see what we have inside. So here is the army crate. It's green. There's bugs on it. Looks like there are maggots too. And then some pink ooze coming out. It says the grocery gang at the top. And we can open it up and let's see we have a blind bag right here. Another blind bag. And then in this blind bag we have two weapons that go with these two groceries in the blind bags. We also have our parachute. And then right in here we have our rubber band that we are going to use on our crossbow. And we are going to first start off with our visual groceries that we have in our first 10 pack right here. So next to each grocery, we have the weapon that goes with them. First up, we have Colonel Dis Custard, and this one is from the Dessert Warfare category. This one is also a common, and it comes with this weapon right here. And if you see right here, there is a little hole, and you can actually stick the weapon into that hole. And there you go. Colonel Dis Custard is ready to make an announcement. So you're going to go right back here moving right along to our next one. This is the weapon and we have this 
big orange guy right here. Let's find out who this one is. This one's name is Private Lunatic. And Private Lunatic is from our Bug Brigade category. And this one is a rare. All right, so our first rare of our 10 pack. Here it is. Moving along to this guy right here. This one's name is Officer Vile Vitamins. And Officer Vile Vitamins is from the Medics category. And this one is a common. On to the next one right here. This one's name is Private Scabby Bandage, and this one is also from the Medics category, and it is also a common. Let's get his weapon out and put it inside this little hole, and there we go. Private Scabby Bandage reporting for duty. Let's get this weapon out for our next grocery, and we do have... Hey, who is this one? Hmm. This one's name is Sergeant Smelly Sneaker, and Sergeant Smelly Sneaker is a common, and it is from the Foot Soldiers category. Next up, we have Private Scummy Honey. Oh my goodness, look, it's Private Scummy Honey, and Private Scummy Honey is from the Army Preserves category, and this one is a common. Private Scummy Honey, hello, sir. You're gonna go right back here. All right, my friends, next up, we have Major Mud Boot, and Major Mud Boot is from the Foot soldiers category. This one is actually a rare. Woohoo! We got another rare. That is so cool. Reporting for duty, sir! Major Mud Boot! Next up, we have Corp Crud Cake, and this one is a common from the Dessert Warfare category. We have a little cherry on top, and let's go ahead and get that weapon out and put it in his hand. There we go. Super easy. And there he is. All right, buddy, you're going to go ahead and join your other army groceries back here. And now, everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in our blind bag. So here are our two weapons. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what weapons we have inside. So we have this one looks like, almost looks like a little cactus. And then the second weapon, we have this right here that looks like a telescope or some sort of binocular. And let's go ahead and open up this one. Let's find out who we have in here. I wonder if it's going to be any of the SWAT members, any of the wall crawler groceries. Nope. So here we have, who is this? Oh no, we do. We sure do. Here we have Captain Killer B and Captain Killer B gets this little telescope right here. There we go. And the way that we know that these are bad guys is that they have two red eyes. See those little red eyes? So here is Captain Killer B and this one is from the Paracrawlers category, which means we can use the parachute with them. And this one is also a special edition. Woohoo, we have a special edition. Let's go ahead and open up this one. Oh, I think this one is sticky. I think so. Let's see. Oh my goodness, does everyone see this one? Wow, this is so cool holy smokes it's like translucent it's like a clear purple color you can see right through it and everyone it's totally sticky 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 and we can actually put this little cactus right into the hand now this one's name is commander stink stinger and this one is an ultra rare which means it is a wall crawler it's very sticky and this is from the swat category oh this one is so neat now at the very end of the video we are going to go over the parachute shoot and how to assemble it. And we are also going to take a look at the crossbow and have some fun with that. And we are going to take a look at the visible groceries that we have right here. So starting off first, we have this one. Here we have Private Crapple Pie. And Private Crapple Pie is from the Dessert Warfare category. This one is a common and you can see his little weapon. It's like a spoon with probably some batter on it. Super cool. Love this one. Love the color. So much detail that Moose adds to all of their groceries. You can find them at your local Toys R Us. And next up, we have this this guy right here. This one's name is Private Potato, and Private Potato is from the Gravy Officers category, and it is a common. Wow, look at that! Look at Private Potato. Smells like poo. Just kidding, it doesn't. And let's get his little weapon and put it on his hand. Love how easy it is to put these weapons on them. And there we go, Private Potato, ready to serve and defend the grocery gang. Uh oh. Next up, we have a bug, and this one's name is Private. Private Vile Fire Ant, and it is from the Bug Brigade category. This one is a rare, and it is a bug. Do, 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 do. Let's go ahead and put that weapon on Private Vile Fire Ant. And there we go. So you're gonna go right back over here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and put our bugs on one side so we don't get them confused with our groceries. Next up, we have Filthy Flipper, and Filthy Flipper is a common. It is from the 
foot soldiers category and look at the snorkel going up. So Filthy Flipper, you have your weapon right here. Let's go ahead and get that out. There we go. Filthy Flipper is set to fight. Next up, we have Colonel Moldy Mustard. This one is a common and this one is from the Army Preserves category. How funny is that with his little glasses, his little mustache. This one is hilarious. This is probably one of my favorite ones so far just because he looks so funny. So here is Colonel Moldy Mustard from the Army Preserves category and again it is a common. Super cool. All right, you're gonna go right back here. Right here we have this grocery. This one's name is Sergeant Stuck Stapler. It is from the Stationary Officers category and this one is a common. This is the first Stationary Officer that we have opened up in our 10 packs. And then look, even the mouth opens up and down. Haha, -ha, there we go. And it is even holding a stapler in his hand. This one's name is Private Pukey Pickle. And Private Pukey Pickle is a rare. And it is also from the Army Preserves category. Let's go ahead and get Private Pukey Pickle out of the plastic and put the weapon in his hand. Look how gross that green is. Yuck. And the two front teeth. How funny is that? Here we have our first grocery from the Hair Force category. This one's name is Major Hairball, and this is a common. Ew, this is a gross hairball. How gross, and it has a pair of scissors right here, right? Are those scissors? Yeah, I think so. All right, everyone, so we have opened up all of our visible uh, groceries from our 10 packs, and now it is time to open up our second army crate. Here it is right here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what's inside. All right, so here are the weapons that we have to go with our our surprise groceries and let's open up this one first I wonder if we're gonna get another sticky one and we have I think it is yay we have another sticky one whoa oh my gosh check that out everyone this one's name is major grubby grub and this one is from the SWAT category this is a wall crawler which means that it is sticky so all the sticky ones are called wall crawlers everyone SWAT member you're gonna go back here with your other SWAT team members all right our second blind bag let's see who this is and who's this gonna be nope this is definitely going to be a pair Trooper grocery. This is Major Mangy Moth, and Major Mangy Moth has its little weapon right here, so it's gonna go right in there. And this one can be used with our parachute, which we will assemble in just a little bit. And how amazing is that? We have opened up all of our groceries. So what a great way to start off our Series 4 collection and the moment we've all been waiting for besides opening up those blind bags in our army crate. It is time to use the crossbow. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to get out our collector's guide, our rotten receipt collector's guide, and we are going to look at the part where it tells you how to assemble this. And at the bottom, we do have instructions on how to do it. There we go, and then we have this piece right here, this cool little peg, and then I believe the grocery sits onto this peg, and then you're going to lay this right here, and then when you pull this back, you're going to launch your grocery off into the bugs. Okay, so we have all of our bugs sitting back here, ready to be struck down by Private Scummy Honey, so we're going to take Private Scummy Honey, and we are going to place him on this peg right here. See, there's a hole right there. You just go ahead and insert him like so. There we go. And we are going to pull this back so we can open up this space right here. And three, two, one. Oh, there it goes. We got three knocked over, two standing. How fun is that? So this is your crossbow, and that's how it works. And let's go ahead and move on to the parachute. All right, so on the bottom of the collector's guide, we have assembly instructions for the parachute. It says to assemble the parachute, assemble two strings as shown, making sure the strings are looped through the figure peg loop. We have a picture right here, and then we have a picture right here. It says, tie the strings at the four holes and plug the figure on the post. So here is our parachute right here. Let's go ahead and open this up. And we should have two strings on the inside. Yep, we have two black strings right here, everyone. And take a look at this parachute. Look at that. We have our big grocery gang logo right here. The big G with the splatter mark in the shopping cart. So you also grab this green peg and you're going to take this and loop it through here like so. And then you're going to take this one and you're going to loop it through this hole right here. And then after we loop it, we are going to tie it. 
And we are going to do the same thing to all of the holes. So go ahead and take a watch as I do this. All right, and there we go. Here is your parachute all tied up. And what you can do is you can go ahead and take any of your bugs or your groceries and you can take this and stick it in the peg. And then when this falls down, the parachute opens up and it's like so see this one fits and then also if we take this disgusting hairball this one fits on there as well all right our grocery gang fans that pretty much wraps up today's review and unboxing of the series 4 bug strike 10 packs we hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you go ahead and give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section what your favorite grocery is that we unbox today and we will definitely see you all in our next grocery gang series number four unboxing bye bye everyone